Hello and welcome to this very impromptu unboxing video. So I received something quite exciting in the post today. It's something that isn't new by any means, but is a special edition version of a video game. Now I've never seen inside this version of the game. The game is Metal Gear Solid Rising Revengeance. And if you cast your minds back to when that game was released uh, many moons ago now, there was a special edition version. And it looks a little like this. This is the, as you can see, the PS3 version of the game. So, in this video, we're going to unbox this, and I'm going to show you what's inside it. Clue, it's an action figure. So, let's get on with it, shall we? So, here we are. Comes in a nice bit of packaging. There's the uh, front. Turn this around for you. There's the back, the sides, there you go, and this just slips off, that's just a cover, I'm going to put that to one side, and we'll go right in there, okay, so, this is what you see upon opening, I'm just going to pull this tray out, actually, this is the figure, wow, I'm quite impressed. It was just a little old me unboxing this today, so we're not going to get any fancy angles or anything because I can't move the camera as I do this. So uh, we're just going to focus on the actual uh, thing we're unboxing here. Here's the game. It's uh, inside this tray, which is the only other thing in the box, as you can see. So there's that little tray with the game in. I play this game. I like this game. Play it on the the Xbox 360 originally. So that's inside in the box. Nothing uh, special or different about this. There's this code. Play as a cyborg ninja. Don't know if that's exclusive to this version or not. There's also the ooh, custom body white armor code, as you can see there. So we're going to put that back in the box for now. And we're going to look at the meat of this special edition, which is this, which <laughs> I can hear all the little bits clattering around inside. Pull the tray out. This is bigger than I expected. So the box of this looks a little bit like that. There you go. And the sides. You also get a leaflet with it explaining uh, I think how you put the stand together and how you attach limbs and stuff because this is a pretty uh, detailed figure so yeah um, that stand as it's attached it's uh, stuck onto the bottom of this so we're not going to attempt to rip all that open but there's even some uh, bolts and screws there so wow this is this is high-end stuff the figure itself is here I'm just gonna rip the figure out I think if I can. and by rip it out I just mean gently lift it out of the case so you guys can get a, a better look at it okay again I'm impressed here's Raiden oof or Raiden sorry and what you heard then was a few things falling on the floor namely one of these little knives so yeah and get three of those in the case. You'll also get some weapons and things like that. I'm going to, have to move this to one side for a moment. And uh, we'll get a better look at this figure. Can you see him okay? Yeah. Should be in focus. There we are. This is a very nice thing. 
uh, it's sorry, it's articulated. The body. Wow. You now all these limbs move. The hands move, so you can get him in all sorts of creative poses. And I assume the legs will move. Yeah, and the feet. Yeah, the feet are also on a sort of ball joint and can move upwards and back. Will he stand up on his own as a test of a lot of these uh, more collectible figures or even action figures in general? Uh, well, I think with a bit of messing around that he will probably stand on his own without the base, but I think you'd want to put this figure on the base. Uh, I think his hair comes off. Yep, yeah, gosh. Uh, so you can, so that's what it looks like with the hair off. You see that? And you can change this visor. Well, swap it out for the visor, should I say. I'm um, pretty impressed with this. this is a, it's great when collectors come with figures like this. Um, we're going to take that off, so... The actual facial detail on him is pretty good, I'd say. I'm going to put his... I'm just going to put his hair back on if we can. There we go. Oh, he smells lovely and plasticky, like old um, monsters in my pocket. So what else do you get? What accessories do you get for him? Well, if I could just easily stand him up here for you. So, uh... Oh, ho ho! There we go. Um, we're gonna look at the accessories next. So you get... This gun attachment. I think it's a gun. I'm gonna cast my mind back now to the to the game it was a it was a while ago. Of course you get his sword, which is the most important accessory for this character. Uh, you get a combat knife. You get various hands, one for his uh, gun, and another similar. Gosh, you get a, you get this. I'm sure instructions will shed some light onto what some of these bits are. They look like his feet, so they're little uh, different feet for him. And you get this thing, which goes somewhere. And then what was falling out earlier with these little knives. So you get three of these throwing knives. Okay. So that's what you get with this uh, special edition. So I'm going to just pan around the figure now so you can get a little better look at what you, what you get. So that was the uh, Metal Gear Solid Rising Revengeance. So has it got a special name? Let's just double check. It's just called the Limited Edition, where you get the game and this figure of Raiden there. It's, it's really very, this is heavy. This is a heavy figure that uh, I'd say you saw all those different parts for him as well. So 
well worth it. What did I pay for this? Well, it was second hand, but as new condition. So uh, I think it was 30 pounds, but this, this thing is well worth it. And I don't own a PS3 copy of the game, so I think uh, it was it was a, a worthwhile purchase. This is a very cool figure. So thanks very much for watching this unboxing of Metal Gear Solid Rising Revengeance Limited Edition. And uh, until we see you again for another one of these, it's bye for now and game on. Thank you.